Hi, I'm Matt Chenard with Delta Waterfowl, here with an April migration update brought to you by Kent Cartridge. This will be our last migration update of the waterfowl season. All the waterfowl are moving uh, quickly, getting into their breeding areas. Of course, the snow geese are the big focus right now with the snow goose hunters out there, and they're really, really pushing north as fast as they can. We'll get our first updates from kind of in the middle of the U.S. with Garrett and move north from there. Hey, guys. For Missouri and Kansas, I'd say 99% of our birds are already north of us. Um, there are still a few around. Um, I saw about 50 of them out in the field in southeast Missouri last night, uh, but that's few and far between, really. Most of the guys have already pulled their spreads um, or quit chasing them, but those of you that are still out there after them, good luck and be safe. There's still a couple around. You're going to have to do a lot of looking to find them in Missouri and Kansas right now. Uh, most of our big masses of snow geese, that leading edge of birds, is through South Dakota at this point. Uh, guys are still having good success in finding those smaller pockets of birds, although it does take quite a bit of scouting to find them. Um, as you can see behind me, uh, most of the ice and snow is off our lakes and wetlands here, and uh, puddler ducks and diver ducks have uh, arrived back on the prairies. Um, you can see courtship displays and uh, all sorts of breeding activity going on right now. Uh, we're just hoping for a wet spring to refill those wetlands and improve nesting success. Thanks. Have a good one. Hey everybody, I'm coming to you from central North Dakota here. And uh, I'm out this morning checking on a cornfield that I was watching yesterday. And as you can see, not a bird to be seen. Yesterday, this entire quarter section was covered in geese. So they obviously moved on and that's what we've been seeing a lot of. These birds are coming, they're feeding and they're not really roosting much. They're gonna maybe roost for a night and then they seem to move on and up into Northern North Dakota and into Canada. Out in the Eastern part of the state, it's a lot wetter. There's a lot more sheet water. Um, so the birds seem to be roosted up a little more consistently and you can pattern them a little better. But even out there, these birds are just on a mission to get North. I think what we're waiting for now is some of these uh, middle migration birds and later later tail migration birds that seem to stick a little better and you can get a better pattern on them and that way we should have a little better success one thing i have noticed some people having some success with though is setting up in evenings find a windy day um, preferably north winds where those birds aren't going to probably move after a morning feed and uh, set up at noon and hopefully come back to the field that afternoon seems to be easier that way rather than waiting overnight and in the mornings it just seems like you you really have no idea if they're coming back or not thanks for the great update guys well if you're in the u.s side of things you better get out there after the snow geese quick before they move into canada now let's get some updates from north of the border and we'll start off with an update from jim here in manitoba and in saskatchewan we had quite a bit of snow this winter this is good news compared to the last year that was a drought pretty much throughout the prairie potholes on the migration front, Canada geese have been back for three or four weeks now, and snow geese, mallards, and pintails have started showing up this past week. Next week looks like it's really going to warm up, and we hope that the water from the remaining snow really rushes off and ends up in our prairie potholes. And that will be met with all the other ducks showing up on the breeding grounds to start laying eggs. Hey guys, just bringing you the migration report here from Alberta. Uh, we'll start with BC first. Uh, lots of birds moving through there, lots of ducks, lots of water, and uh, the snow geese are making a good push through the lower mainland. Um, now to Alberta. Lots of birds in southern Alberta, guys. The snow geese are coming in here hard. Um, they've even pushed up as far as central Alberta. Uh, looks like it's going to be a good year for the snows, so get out and get after them, guys. Thanks. Thanks for the updates, guys. Well, it sure was an interesting waterfowl season. Of course, with the drought in the prairies here, there was lots of concerns about how many ducks would be headed south. But we heard some great reports over this season, and we hope you were lucky enough to get out and have some fun waterfowl hunting. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll be back in the fall with more migration updates.